We have seen several smartphone brands attempting at budget gaming phones, but sadly, such devices don't really offer what mobile gamers want in a gaming phone, despite having an affordable price. Which is why the Ico Z7 is here to save the day. But how the heck is this a gaming phone without flashy RGB lighting and aesthetics? Well, I'm glad that you asked because I also asked myself that same question. But it turns out that this humble looking gaming phone happens to pack impressive features and performance that you might not need to spend that much of money on an overpowered gaming phone. The Ico Z7 looks like a regular smartphone on the outside and the camera bump design looks identical to Vivo's T1 mid-range phone that was released in 2021, which isn't surprising if they recycled designs since Ico is a sub-brand of Vivo. Unlike many similar priced phones, the Ico 7 Z7 still comes with a headphone jack and IR blaster for controlling home appliances. On the front, you get a 6.67-inch IPS display that refreshes at 120Hz and has a fast 1200Hz touch sampling rate. It has a punch hole cutout for the front camera which gamers might despise, and the screen bezels aren't as symmetrical as it has a pretty thick chin. Though colours and contrast is good, it doesn't get as bright when used outdoors which is a little disappointing but a necessary compromise for the high refresh rate and touch sampling rate. The phone features dual stereo speakers which I'm thankful because its parent company isn't a fan of it. Though it is sadly not the best I have heard within the same class but it is sufficient for gamers who wants to game without plugging in headphones. Under the hood, the Ico Z7 employs a Snapdragon 782G SoC paired with 12 gigs of RAM and 256GB of non-expendable storage. The lack of storage expansion is a bummer if you intend to store a lot of media and games on it. But when it comes to real-world performance, the Ico Z7 is a very responsive device and it ships with Android 13 out of the box. In fact, the Snapdragon 782G SoC is an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 778G+, which we have experienced on several smartphones previously and it delivered excellent gaming performance and power efficiency. As you can see in these benchmarks between the Ico Z7 and the Snapdragon 778G Plus powered Nothing Phone 1, they merely differ slightly in single core scores on Geekbench 6 and graphics performance is about the same when I ran the 3D Mark Wildlife benchmark. To put it in real-world context, I tested the Ico Z7 on a few games and I'm glad to report that it can play Genshin Impact at 60fps with low to medium graphics settings. Asphalt 9 ran flawlessly at 60fps as well and even the recently released Honkai Star Trail is no sweat for the Ico Z7's hardware. Where the Ico Z7 begins to differ from similar spec phones is by having a large vapor cooling chamber with liquid cooling that aims to lower the CPU core temperature by 15 degrees Celsius during extended gaming sessions. This prevents the phone from throttling performance and it is a crucial feature for gamers who spend long durations on their phones. As you can see in the 3 d Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test between the Nothing Phone 1, the Ico Z7 have more consistent scores on the loop test. While most gaming phones don't emphasize on their cameras, the Ico Z7 is breaking the status quo by having an optically and electronically stabilized 64 megapixel main camera that's complemented by a 2 megapixel dev camera. The camera produces very respectable image quality in both outdoor and low light conditions, which I dare say is even better than some higher end gaming phones. It also shames similar price phones with the ability to shoot 4K videos at 30 FPS though it doesn't support image stabilization. The front 16 camera produces pretty decent image quality for selfies, though video resolution remains at 1080p. Although having a 5000mAh battery on a mid-range phone is very common these days, the Ico Z7 sports a dual-cell 5000mAh battery that supports 120W fast charging, which essentially means that it fast charges more efficiently as it pumps power into two battery cells and can be fully charged from 0% in 26 minutes. In terms of battery life, the Ico Z7 has no issues lasting a full workday with 5G connectivity and a 5-hour screen on time. 
Overall, the Ico Z7 managed to excel in several things as a budget gaming phone. And most importantly, it has a very attractive 1,499 ringgit price tag. Which to many mobile gamers out there, this is a great bargain and a no-brainer if you want an all-rounded budget gaming phone that can handle most Android games without compromising too much graphics quality. While having a great camera and super fast charging speeds is also a priority. So yeah, that's all for my thoughts on the iQ Z7. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you guys in the next one.